It's been described as nothing short of a miracle. We can tell you around 8.20 this morning in the area of Silos Clifton Pier. We can tell you a 12-seater Ferguson Air, which is operating a charter flight for Southern Air, coming in from Governor's Harbor, went down short, short of the airport at Linden Pilling International Airport. We can tell you they were getting ready to land when the, when the pilot, of course, recognized they were having some difficulties. He notified those on board and most likely they were got they got ready in the crash landing position. We're told because of his ingenuity, he was able to find a smooth place where it was little wind and bring that plane down on a controlled landing. Now we can tell you um, that 11 were on board, one unfortunately deceased. We can tell you he is believed to be a 77-year-old American. The other 10 remaining were of course rescued by divers from the Defense Force, Police Force, and of course here at Stewart's Cove. They were brought, to, brought ashore. We can tell you they were in pretty much okay condition. Ambulances were here to meet them and of course transport them to the Princess Margaret Hospital and Doctors Hospital. But of course what we're hearing is of course the captain would have done a heroic effort in bringing that plane down. Let me tell you the plane is now submerged in water. We can tell you some 6,500 feet of water. He brought it down on the very edge of that and water is as, as shallow as 35 feet. And of course later the plane tipped over into the 6,500 feet of water. So of course this is why it's being considered a miracle. Of course emergency agencies from the government and private sector responding in a coordinated effort to ensure the safety of those who are rescued and of course we can now see I don't know if you can see behind me they're preparing to bring out uh, the body of the one man who perished in this incident but of course could have been more tragic than it is and given what we've been just experienced as a nation this is nothing short of a miracle reporting to you live from Stortz Cove Clint Watson for ZNS Network News